Good morning, America. This is Dr. Cherie from the Arizona with another interesting video. Before anything, as always, my public statement. <laughs> I am the first cosmic cop teaching humanity to understand and respect God's cosmic design or Jesus' cosmic ministry. All right, now, I don't know if you watched the latest news on CNN, but I was appalled. I mean, I was just not even appalled. I was, I was upset. Um, this guy is my age. He's 72. Of course, he was not abducted by ETs and had his entire system being uploaded. Okay? My entire atomic structure has been rebuilt by the ETs. Um, unless you watch my movie, you know, you will not know. And by the way, we are making another version of that movie, which is going to be totally uh, mind blowing. You, you'll see it when it comes out sooner or later. It's still in, in progress. So let's go back to that story with this old guy. He's my age. Uh, he's 72 years old. He looks much older and he is dying of cancer. Luckily for me, I am a cancer survivor. And like me, he was born with uh, Saturn and Virgo. So he is a fanatic in cleaning and cleansing. That's just the way we are. Okay. Remember, I don't judge people through uh, my five limited human rational senses. I see people through the stars. I bypass the limitations of what we can see and perceive. So this old man was facing a judge. And that woman, that judge, has absolutely no heart. The way she talked to him, saying to him that he should be ashamed for not cleaning his fence. Um, I mean, this it is the law. If you own a house like I do, I clean it all the time. In fact, just two nights ago, my wife and I we were outside cleaning all the, the leaves and cleaning everything. We got to do that. We're going to keep it clean for the neighbors and everything else. Okay. But this guy has cancer and his son was not there. He went for a month, some places. The boss point is if you watch the video, it's, it's, it can be a bit difficult to understand his accent, but it, you could see the poor guy trying to explain to the judge that he's sick. He couldn't do it. It was raining. It was cold. And his son was not here. I mean, when you see things like this, it, it shows how, how cold-hearted, rational, and uh, uh, irresponsible, literally, people can be in hurting emotionally those who do not deserve it, those who are the least to be, you know, pointed out. This, this guy is dying. He's 70 years old. He's dying of cancer. No heart. And that's the sad reality of the world we're living in. That's sad. When I saw that video, it's on, it's on CNN if you want to watch it. Anyway, the title of this newsletter is SOS to the World, Deadly Window, January 16, 2022. England and the Royal are doomed. Okay, what I'm trying to tell you, first of all, is that um, I was supposed to be on uh, in, in Las Vegas doing some very serious spiritual cleansing. Uh, the sad enough, a lot of people don't fancy to wear a mask. You heard me on my previous videos. So Bob, Bob Brown, my good friend, had to cancel these conferences. And uh, because of uh, the pandemic, all of us have been really, really much affected. A lot of us are degenerated and, and have lost hopes. It's so hard. It's so difficult. So I, I was really anticipating doing my healing and then helping uh, all of you all there in Vegas. But it's not going to happen because Mercury is retrograde. Again, if you heard the previous video that I made, it's a total nightmare in terms of trying to keep in plans together. You are going to be forced to restructure everything. Things are going to break down. And people of the past will come back into your life. Yesterday, I mentioned that a guy that I met in La Jolla uh, back in 1986, a long time ago, was... Uh, uh, Kind of a, you know, telling me he was happy for me that I was still working and I was good, so to speak. But another guy yesterday came back in my life. And this guy is Jeremy, he's the producer of my previous movies on UFOs. And he says to me that he is ready 
to do the movie on the superconscious in time and space. As the, the newsletter that I just wrote mentioned, must read it, of course, and you share it, please. Um, life is a constant process of changes. And when the door is closing, another one is opening. However, I still do not want to keep my hopes too high because Mercury is still retrograde. So uh, read his, his email to me. I put it there for you. I share everything because I'm a public person and you have the right to know what's going on. Uh, and then um, uh, that is the initial wish that I had to reach the masses. Okay. Of course, I would not be there to physically teach you how to regenerate and how to heal like Nostradamus used to do in the 16th century using your feet and using your hands. I won't be able to do that. But the information that I have on the superconscious in time and space is, is absolutely phenomenal. So <clears throat> it is important for you to go and read all that I mentioned about the superconscious because um, uh, the superconscious does not rationalize. It doesn't know what's right and what's wrong. It just does. Again, as I said, it's like God creating an earthquake or a tsunami and killing innocent baby. And the superconscious uh, is, is where God resides. Okay, it gets your heart beating, it stops an infection. And from that superconscious, uh, you can also alter the atomic structure of your body and then make you sick. Oh, I, or heal that matter. So I'm explaining all this uh, in detail in, in the newsletter. So go and read it. Uh, and on Sunday night, I hope to see many of you. I'm going to be with my good friend Tracy, Tracy Austin. I'm going to be doing uh, a show on uh, KGRA DB, and that is on uh, Sunday, the 16th. Yes. Okay. So just Click on the link, it's live if you want to listen to me. And again, if you're a miss me, because I'm not on coast to coast anymore, saying the real thing, giving you real prediction, then don't miss that show. So I just wanted to mention to you that um, the next window um, on the 16th, couple of days from now, is all about the beginning or ending of important phases of your life. Just pay attention. Pay attention to what's going to take place at the universal level, not only the United States with our government, but all over the world. There are going to be some really serious beginning and ending of important phases of life. And that means also, of course, for some people to die. Sad enough, during one of these window, I lost my mother. And then David Icke was also stopped. He couldn't go to Australia. Pretty much the same stuff that's going on with his tennis player who... Um, uh, you know, kind of lie about COVID. Yes, we are lying. <laughs> and, uh, um, you know, had his visa revoked. So it's kind of a messy, but it's the beginning or the end of important phases of life. So pay attention uh, to what your friends are saying, to what your family members are saying or doing. Uh, oh, I'm moving. Oh, I'm finishing a job. I'm starting another one. Oh, man, we lost that person. Just pay attention. And then you're going to be touched. Now, if you do not realize it's because you're not paying attention, but you are going to be touched as much as, as me. Uh, like I just mentioned, uh, Jeremy contacting me, it's like a new beginning. If you understand, it, this is how you must think. Don't just think about you know, the box like for yourself. Start to expand outside because the truth very often is not inside of you. The truth is outside by being observant, by being open, by being intuitive and careful. As far as um, England is concerned, okay, uh, they are doomed, you know, they are doomed. Back in 2012, I wrote the century old man-made king queen statue and its entire snobby privileged select children will see the beginning of a crumble induced by humanitarian all equal energetic pull of the new age of Aquarius. England is a Capricorn country and will undergo the same changes when many of the members of the royal family would experience dramatic experiences. And I ended up by saying the royal family may also suffer death by malady or accident. 
So again, what's next for Prince Andrew and the royal family, but you already know, is coming to an end. It's very, very hard for such a long established hierarchy to accept the fact that life is a constant process of changes. Anything that has been built one day will crash. Okay, so I don't know if it could be your relationships, it could be a marriage, it could be a, a career, it could be a job, it could be anything, okay, even your car for that matter. But as I said before, remember, um, very often it is a blessing in disguise. Um, and anything that happened with the kids of the queen refusing the royal uh, status, all this was fully predicted. But again, if you don't read or if you don't know about me, well, you have all the excuses possible to be skeptical. But the fact of the matter, it, it's in there. What else do we have? Um, uh, okay, Sine, Sine O'Connor is hospitalized day after her son's death, the son's committed suicide. Now, you have to remember, again, if you put your hand on my book, the 2021 Nostradamus Dragon Forecast, I said all of those born in December and June, or an, under the sign of Sagittarius, uh, are going to be directly affected by this dragon. Senator Connor, she was born in December. My honored doctor who was supposed to do my shoulder surgery was born in December and he ended up in a hospital in and tubated with COVID. Pay attention. Okay. Now, as far as she's concerned, uh, she, it's a matter of time. She's religiously poisoned. She turned into her Muslims. Okay. There's nothing to do with religion for or against it. I just know a little bit better in terms of the reptilians creating so many different religions. So the true cosmic religion, which is astrology, that was initiated by Jesus at the very beginning has been cast aside and mangled and hidden and under this pile of uh, deceptive Neptunian soup. So what happened is she's rich, she's famous, she's religiously poisoned, she's cosmic and conscious. This means she cannot apply a will, which is the part of God in her, to, to survive or battle the reptilians which have hijacked the body, her mind, and her soul. So suddenly enough, it looks like if it's just a matter of time before she finds an excuse to get up and then see her son, she had enough um, of life, especially this type of life, which is totally, totally unhealthy. And then what's really, really sad is that millions, trillions, quadrillions of people are doing all they can every single day to reach that level of fame and stature. Okay. And that would lead them to, to lead life by both hands. And that's why a lot, a lot of these famous people don't have a life. They they die at every age's birth. They, they never end up uh, living quite long. The old fashioned, those live a long way, 80, 90 years old, because during those days, the, the party and the drugs, the, the mentality was so very different. But we are in a time in, in age where everything is so accelerated. So you got to be very cautious. You need to have the stars. If you're born with the stars to handle such a stress, such unhealthy party drug life, then, you know, hopefully you live a little bit longer. But um, maybe this is why, as a recording artist myself for years, um, uh, God did not allow me to go in that direction, which I had. I had it all in my hand when I was in Los Angeles to bring my band from England to re-record my best, my, my single came out. And I, something in me told me, don't do it, don't do it. And I packed it up and those guys were looking at me like, wow, are you crazy or what? People would die to get a deal with EMI uh, recording studio and you just turn us down. Yes, I just did, sir. Don't ask me why, but I'm glad I did because I probably would be dead by now. Okay, so again, I apologize for not being able because of Mercury retrograde to heal you, to help you uh, in Las Vegas. This has been canceled. I know for sure Bob will wait until the stars shine on him, me and the world again, and then we'll do it again. And I will be there to do what I said I would do. For now, 
a new road is opening, as I said, the beginning or ending of important phases of life. A new road is opening for me to make that new movie. And again, I don't want to keep my hopes too high. I just got the email and then we're going to go from there. Until then, um, I want to take this opportunity once again to uh, thank every one of you for listening to me, signing to my channel. It's a must and sharing my work is also critical mostly because uh, um, intuitively you should know if I know what I'm talking about. Oh, one thing I didn't do for a while and I'm going to do it now because you waited that long. Okay, this is it. So I'm going to put it there. Okay, and I'm going to pick up a card. You know, people say sometimes I'm always cheating. No, I'm not cheating. I'm not a cheater. Okay, there you go. I got the cards. We're going to look at the energy of these cards. It's the Wheel of Fortune, okay? The Wheel of Fortune means that you have opportunity given to you, okay? And there is a hell of a lot of changes. That's exactly what my other video was saying. Be prepared for a new beginning, a new and ending of important changes of life. Very important section of your life are going to stop and going to start. Okay, so you have the wheel of fortune. Again, life is a constant process of changes. And then whatever happened, if you if somebody drop you, if you end up uh, signing a contract to end something and the upsets you don't, don't because the wheel of fortune is the message in it. All right, all right, my good friend, we talk to you again. Until then, God bless all of you. Bye-bye.